at the outset, could I congratulate and really thank my two colleagues, our Deputy Leader of the House and Leader of our party in the Senate, uh, Senator Regina Doherty, and my colleague here, uh, Senator Mary Siri Carney, on the work they've done on this private members, on its coordination and its wording, etc. And it has all of our enthusiastic support, but I want to record my gratitude to them for that. I just want to say a couple of things of a general nature and then try to be a little more focused on the motion. Of a general nature, I would just say at the outset there are a number of reasons that this motion is so important. Child abuse, child sexual abuse, or the sexual abuse indeed of any human being, but particularly children, is a horror. And I know it to be a horror as a human being but also as a former teacher, and indeed which you were as well yourself, last year, look, and uh, as a former teacher and as a parent, it's, it's, it's a horror. That's number one, and needs to be weeded out, and more particularly even in the future, structures, very clear structures, clear regulations, clear reporting structures, that and clear supervisory structures and having the reporting officer in every organisation that, in other words, that it cannot happen again, every safeguard to be built in to prevent it. That's the first thing, it's a horror in itself. But there's another aspect to this, and I think it gets forgotten in the debate, and understandably forgotten. There are a wonderful, wonderful number of voluntary excellent people in organisations like the John's Ambulance, in organisations like Scouting Ireland, in, so in a myriad of organisations. And the, the scandals around sex abuse, to them is a horror, to them is a source of shame, to them is a, not a shocking source of depression because they have given their life to that voluntary work. And they feel stigmatised, they feel ashamed. And I really think, apart from the horror that it is in itself, those people need to be vindicated. And they need it weeded out. And they want it weeded out. And they want it clear that the mass of them are good and innocent and well-intentioned and good people. And that by and large, with a few dreadful exceptions, they were unaware of what was happening around them. So I just think that merit, those little general remarks merit saying. This motion is very soundly based in that it's based, first of all, on a solid report, the independent review of the handling of past complaints of abuse in St. John's Ambulance Ireland by Dr. Geoffrey Shannon. And he disclosed a serious pattern of young people in that, of abuse of young people in that organisation over a number of decades, which is a, a horror. And he made a set of recommendations cited here. Uh, and, and I'll only touch on them, but the need for a change of culture and ethos, ethos the need to ensure, and this is what's very important for the future, the safety and well-being of cadets in its care at all times. There has to be structures there, there has to be supervisory people there, there has to be regulatory situation there, and that needs to be done. He cites the fact that warnings were ignored and not taken sufficiently seriously in the past. That's very indictable, that's a dreadful thing, and again, that has to inform the future and of course the failure to investigate. And disciplinary structures were inadequate, so all of that needs to change. Um, he cites the, and I, I had a group of children in from my primary school today at home, from my neighboring primary school, to uh, 50 children, and we gave them constitutions, and the wonderful ushers who guided them around spoke to them about the terms of the constitution and the principle that children be, all children be treated equally. And I, I mean, that's a necessary thing, and it's here. Uh, so, sorry, yeah, uh, so that's a very necessary thing. Um, and I just want to go on then to some of what we call for in the motion. Uh, having identified the issue, having identified the recommendations of Def Dr. Shannon. And the point I really wanted to make there, that this is not some whimsical thing that we thought on a whim. This is well based, sadly and tragically, in fact. One very important recommendation is that the minister would meet the victims and meet the relevant people afterwards. And I would appeal to the minister to indicate in his next, in his contribution, that he would so do. And we call for an urgent investigation into child protective 
to an oversight within TUSL, a review of what structures are there, how child protection is catered for there. A statutory review, in fact, I have a son who has worked with TUSL, he's qualifying in UCD as a social worker at the moment. I talk to him about these things, I'm very proud of what he's doing. But people like him need, there needs to be solid structures and reviews here, and it needs doing. Uh, an urgent statutory review of Tuesday, yeah. An urgent review of the mandatory reporting obligations. And that's so important. That's what I meant, that that has to be in every organisation, that we can never, ever, ever. The big thing is to try to not repeat while healing the past and, as well, and having accountability for the past. Uh, who have been a review of those who have been prosecuted for withholding information, and if none and be a review of the legislation and its adequacy. I think that's important and stands to reason. A complete review of the standards and criteria applied by the Guardian in in it in investigations when they deem the previous matters not prosecutable. And that needs review, Minister. And the immediate meeting between the Minister which I referenced and any survivors of who victim survivors and to hear their concerns and I think that would be so important and I know would, uh, that you have a particular uh, strength here and it would be important that it happen. The provision of counselling and as was a, as Senator Lin Wan said, a reporting situation, medical and legal support for survivors of sexual abuse within the organisation. I think, just to finish, and it is, it, it is finish, a time to finish, but to say it's a wonderful thing, and I'm so happy that at least we're shining a light in these areas, and we need to shine a light here, and we cannot, cannot live with a, a tinsel sort of a sub-romantic sense of the past. We have to confront the darkness as well as the light. Both are unfortunately relevant. Thank you. Thank you, Senator.